West Lockworth and heading to Torxey. There was another boat coming out with us as well, which was good. And we were going to be meeting another boat when we get to Torxey. Um, he, and they were going to come down to uh, Cromwell with us the following morning. And uh, there was definitely more water with the, us this time than when we came up. That's it. We were lucky because it was a lovely sunny day. It was a bit breezy. Uh, that was the only thing, as you can see from the picture of Mexi and us here, it, we were a bit windswept. And uh, then coming up now is the video that uh, Sarah took of us, which was quite good. Um, she, we managed to get a video of us going uh, down the Trent, which we hadn't seen before. This is called Road Rage on a So the boat was trying to get to Cromwell for the day, um, not stopping at Torxey. And, but uh, it came on the inside, that was what was scary. So we checked with the lock keeper at Torxey and at Cromwell and we were told we needed to leave about quarter to 12. And again, it was quite a nice day, a bit colder than the day before. So we headed off, this time being three of us. Uh, we were at the back and uh, we were just following each other through. a lovely uh, sparrowhawk. I couldn't get it zoomed right in but it was amazing just watching it uh, hover looking for obviously its prey for the day. It was about three-ish. Uh, Steve phoned Cromwell just to let them know we were running slightly behind time because there's been a problem with the boat that was at the front. They've uh, got overheating and we were told we had to be there by half past three, 20 to three at the latest because she was leaving at four o'clock. We got to the lock and as you can see we managed to get in but she closed the gates behind the third boat and wouldn't let them in so they had to hang out overnight. We moored up at Cromwell for the evening and then left first thing in the morning and the first stop was through to Newark and we had to do the big lock, I think it's called Hazelford, just as you're coming into Newark uh, ourselves because there was no locking on this particular day. That was a tester, but we got through in the end. Took a photograph, this is half a car just on the side of the canal. It was amazing what you get in. So we're now going through Newark um, and luckily this the big lock was manned and then through, we stopped here at uh, Newark Marina to get some diesel and all these geese left the field and came across to us, which was scary. And just a beautiful picture of a heron. And so whilst we were cruising down through on the Trent, I managed to cook a tasty vegan shepherd's pie ready for tea when we eventually got moored up in Nottingham in the evening. Moored up opposite Trent Bridge and opposite the Fat Memorial, not sure what it was. And the next morning we headed off to go through Nottingham itself. So I've had to go under the bridge and then uh, turn round and come back up through the into the lock. So we're heading over there. <laughs> Thank you.
so we got into the lock and as the lock was bringing the boat up we saw that so the boat had been scratched the previous night this was done by one of the rowers and we thought we'd felt it but we weren't too sure because they were getting so close as they were going past i mean the trench's very wide but for some reason they had to get that close which is so annoying because it hadn't been scratched before lots of film going through Nottingham because it didn't seem that long ago since we came through but uh, as we were coming through to the first lock as you come past the, all the pubs and uh, on the right hand side and the magistrates court the CRT were at the lock and if you look closely you can see there's a huge great big weed it's in front of the boat round. and they pushed this out of the lock and luckily Steve was managed to go around it so we didn't get it uh, round our prop thank goodness Oh, shall I go down the front and ask him to move? The hit, hitting the horn and he's not doing anything. I think he must be dead. I don't think he heard you, Steve. As we came round the corner, I was allowed to take over after we got past the paddleboard as they, he had completely not heard us, which is a bit worrying since we'd pressed the horn, I don't know how many times, but hey ho. So this lock gave me headache last time when I was coming through the other way because one of the paddles was slightly open and I kept trying to get the water to come out and didn't realise. So this time I checked the paddles. So Steve picked me up on the other side and off we were. Going again, just the final bit of the trent to do now. places along the side here some uh, oh, they're all different ones and everything but some are beautiful and uh, I said it would be great to be able to moor here so we just arrived at Cranfleet lock it's a very heavy lock and it's quite a deep lock as well um, it's not one of my favorites when it you'll see from the video that water was gushing out that's even before we got everything closed um, and I had to um, do it really slowly because it was knockers around a bit So next bit was just to get down the remainder of the trent and head into Sawley Lock and we were just keeping our fingers crossed that they've got um, lockies on because we've not done this lock since we put the boat in the water in June of the previous year, 2021. Yeah, 
So we were taken through the lock by Jan, which uh, was fantastic. She uh, had a good chat with us and even took our photograph because I'd, we were on Twitter with uh, saw the lock and would message that we were coming through. And uh, she was told that she had to, when we did arrive, she had to take our photograph, which she did. And it was on Twitter later, which you'll see in the photograph coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Are we supposed to ring ahead when we come in here? You got your heater on in there, haven't you? <laughs> in there? <laughs> So we left Sawley and decided to head to Shardlow for the evening because it's somewhere we'd wanted to stay before and we managed to get moored up on the corner which was great and we popped to the new inn for dinner and it was very tasty indeed so uh, thoroughly enjoyed it and can highly recommend it. Stayed here just for the night and the next morning we set, us, settle, set off even to go to Mercia which you'll see in the next vlog. I'm Lexi the Boat Dog here. I just want to say a big thank you from all the crew on Never Too Late for everybody that subscribes and keeps watching our vlogs. Don't forget you can comment too. Thanks ever so much. Bye!